Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today's video is all about my minimalist pregnancy essentials. I am 31 weeks, almost 32 weeks ugh, as of the filming of this video. And so I'm pretty much kind of like towards the end of my pregnancy. And that's kind of let me look back and look at all of the things that kind of helped me enjoy slash survive this pregnancy. So the last time I was pregnant, I was living in a studio apartment with my husband. We loved living in our studio apartment. It's where we brought home our son, Isaac, or Izzy as we call him. And being in a studio apartment, being in such a tiny space meant that I had to be very careful and I had to really really think about what kind of essentials I was going to bring into our home. That's really informed my approach to pregnancy. You won't see a ton of things. A little bit of skincare, a little bit of lifestyle, and then some style favorites because come on you guys know me by this point. If you've been watching you know I love to talk about clothes. I love clothes. I love style, personal style, simple stuff. And I'm also not a huge fan of maternity clothes. So if you are also not a huge fan of maternity clothes and you wanna figure out ways where you can get away with wearing non-maternity clothes, even into your third trimester, then I'm gonna share all of the clothing items that I have loved and that have worked really well throughout my entire pregnancy. So anyway, without further ado, let's jump in. So the first thing I'm gonna talk about is one of the most important things that you're gonna need when you are pregnant. And that is a prenatal vitamin. I am a bit of a child and so I love gummy vitamins just in general. I will always pick a gummy vitamin over like one that I have to like take with water or a meal or something. So I love the Ollie vitamin. This is the prenatal one, the essential prenatal with folic acid and DHA. Those are two things that everything in my research tells me are very important for baby's development. So I'm not a medical professional, but I think if you do your research, you're gonna find that you really do wanna get a prenatal that has DHA and folic acid in it because it, um, it's good for baby. So anyway, I love these. These were good because they're a little like citrusy flavor. They have some like tartness to them, which was actually kind of nice while I was dealing with nausea in the first trimester. So anyway, I really love these, but obviously get whatever prenatal vitamin works best for you and your needs. And in the vein of supplements and vitamins and gummy vitamins, I also have to share about the Ollie probiotic and prebiotic. It's for a balanced belly. This might be TMI, but let's be real. So much of pregnancy like is such a physical thing. It happens in our body and it requires us to talk about our bodily functions. So here we go. There's a lot of pressure that gets put on your digestive system, on your intestines, on really all of your organs, but it can make things, uh, it can back you up. A little bit let me say it that way and for me i have found that the probiotic and prebiotic supplement has really really helped because it's got the like probiotic um live cultures in it but it also is like a dose of fiber this is not gonna replace it's not like metamucil is that the fiber stuff it's not gonna like completely replace a like full-on fiber supplement but it does add a little bit of fiber to your system, which at least for me has helped a lot. So I really, really loved um, those two Ollie vitamins. And um, I also really like that I can just easily go pick them up at Target or I can add them in like a drive up order and it's just super easy to get them. Um, and I've had no problems with them. I've been really happy with the results of those, um, just like a drugstore prenatal and a drugstore like supplement. So. Like I said, not a doctor. Talk to your doctor or your midwife or whoever about your supplements, but these were two of my absolute pregnancy essentials. All right, the next thing that I'm gonna talk about is something that if you've been around here for any stretch of time, I don't know if these videos are even still up actually, but if you've been reading my blog for a while, you will have heard me talk about a swell bottle. I almost feel embarrassed trying to like talk about the swell bottle. I will say that it has been a long time since I've brought up my swell bottle. So let me gush a little bit. I think any insulated water bottle is gonna be absolutely necessary when you're pregnant. It helps with nausea in the beginning. It, it's good to just keep yourself hydrated. And I have for sure noticed that when I am 
properly hydrated, I don't get as many like Charlie horse cramps in my legs and I don't get as many Braxton Hicks contractions. Because of that, if you're pregnant, if you are a living, breathing human who has access to potable water, you should absolutely have a reusable water bottle. I highly recommend these like vacuum or like the double walled sealed ones that keep your water cold for like 24 hours or whatever. Highly recommend those because we all can agree that cold water is better than lukewarm water. Not only is it good to keep you hydrated, but it keeps you from the ridiculous recurring cost of buying plastic or packaged water and it helps the planet when you do that. So anyway, I love my swell bottle so much. I don't leave, I like rarely leave the house without it. That's my spiel on my water bottle. <laughs> Let's talk about some kind of like skin and body care things shall we? I only have two things to really like talk about, but okay. So let's talk about belly butter. I gotta be honest with you. In my last pregnancy, I was not interested in belly butter. I just was like, I didn't experience that many stretch marks. So that probably influenced a lot of it. But I even think being pregnant in the winter time, I felt like I could just get away with my regular body butter that I was using. And I didn't feel like I needed something specific for my belly. However, this time around, things are a little different. Um, to be honest with you, my belly button area stretched out a lot in my first pregnancy. And like, obviously it kind of came back, but it was never the same. And it has never looked the same as like pre-baby. Um, and this time around, I think I've de I'm developing a, a little bit more stretch mark, again, right around my belly button. And I've also noticed that my belly itself has been way itchier than it was in my first pregnancy, or at least I'm noticing it a lot more, maybe because we're home all the time. So because of that, I've really been loving this belly butter from Herb Apothecary. This was gifted to me from one of my friends. She runs an online baby shop and she carries this in her shop and I placed an order she included this as just like a little here you go a little freebie for mama which was really really sweet but because it's been the summer this does not have the same beautiful texture that it did when it was first packaged because it has melted and then re-solidified but that's because I don't have central air conditioning in my rent in my in my home so if this is in my bathroom or in my bedroom where it usually is it's just there it's not really getting like temperature control anyway it still works great it smells like cocoa butter which i think is like the second ingredient yeah this is the first product that i've ever used from herb apothecary but it has like a cult following with my friends uh here in sacramento they all like collect all of the things and they just use all of her products and I gotta tell you like I, I see it I see why they use it this has been really wonderful in helping helping me like calm the itchiness now is it preventing stretch marks or is it getting rid of stretch marks I don't know honestly I'm not super interested in preventing stretch marks like if it happens it happens um, but the itchiness that I would like to avoid because scratching your stomach is just a weird thing to try to do in public. The next thing I'm going to talk about is something that I almost feel bad talking about because I have mentioned it in like three of, this is like probably the third time I've mentioned it uh, in a video recently and I hate to be redundant, but okay. You know when you find a product and it like changes your life? <laughs> Or when you find a product and you use it and you're like, oh, this is like holy grail status from, from the first use. That's how I feel about this product. It's the SW Basics Day Serum. I am truly obsessed with this. I love it. One of the things about the SW Basics brand is that all of their products are meant to have like five ingredients. Um, at most. And so this one is shea oil, tamanu oil, lavender oil, sunflower oil, and aloe extract. So I have dry skin to begin with, but throughout this pregnancy, I found that I was getting really, really dry patches, like more than normal dry patches right here in between my brows, which is always like a problem area. And then I was getting weird dry patches right here around my mouth. Anyway, this was the only thing that helped me 
calm and nourish my skin to a point where it wasn't just like a flaky, cracky, yucky <laughs> mess. So I love this. You can see I'm like, I'm almost done with it. It is one of the pricier items in my routine of products, but it's absolutely worth it. I will repurchase that as long as they make it and hopefully they make it forever. <laughs> okay, the next thing that I'm gonna share about is a little bit weird <laughs> when it comes to like pregnancy essentials because you would typically expect me to talk about a pregnancy pillow at this point in the video. And I, I have to come clean, I don't have a pregnancy pillow. I did use a, a really, really old body pillow uh, in my first pregnancy when we were still living in our studio apartment. Brandon had had that body pillow for like literal years, probably close to a decade if we're being honest. And so, but after I was done with it, we kind of just knew it was time to let it go. So I don't have a, I don't have a body pillow. I don't have a pregnancy pillow. And I have, I am usually a back sleeper and I've been like forced to turn into a side sleeper during my pregnancy. All of this is a long story just to tell you that I realized last week that we have been sleeping on very old pillows. So when I was at Target buying some necessities, you know, I bought a pillow and Gosh, this doesn't even make sense to show you what the pillow is. It's from Target's like new Casa Luna line, which I think is supposed to like compete with Parachute or something like that. But it's, I just randomly grabbed it because it said it was for side sleepers and back sleepers. And I was like, that sounds like it'll work. Oh my gosh, it is such a good pillow. I have not been that this excited for something to sleep on. Uh, maybe ever. I don't know if I've ever found a pillow that I like as much as this one. And it has made a huge difference just in the quality of sleep that I'm getting uh, in just like the last week that I've had it. So don't wait until you're 30 something weeks pregnant to get a good pillow. Um, just get yourself a really nice pillow at the beginning and you'll be so happy you did. The bonus is that my old pillow works really well as something to kind of prop me up to prevent me from rolling over onto my back as I so desperately want to do even at 31 weeks pregnant. Pregnancy pillow is probably probably worth it but I've just never had one so I can't recommend one um, but if you are kind of like in a similar small space situation where you don't really want to have a pregnancy pillow that you have to then store <laughs> in between pregnancies just do without and make do with cushions and old pillows and stuff like that. It works fine. It's not glamorous but it does work. The last like lifestyle thing that we'll talk about are um, reusable cloth masks. <laughs> I feel like it wouldn't be a proper pregnancy essentials video that goes up in 2020 without me talking about a mask. So here we go. I'll keep it brief because obviously if you're watching this from a pandemic free future, hello, what's it like? At the time of filming, uh, these are kind of a necessity. I purchased this kind of style where like it kind of goes, you know, up around your nose. I purchased this style off of a seller on Etsy and I actually really like the quality of the fabric. It's just like a different kind of cotton. It, and I specifically got the tie version because I found that every single elastic style uh, mask just like did not fit my face for some reason. I did find better luck with some of the um, kids masks that I bought at Target for my son who is two and like I could not get him to wear a mask. The kid size is really great if you have um, like a weirdly small face or maybe my ears are too close to my mouth. I don't know. I really hope that you can't hear him grunting trying to open that door, but. Okay, let's try and get through the fashion items super quick. So I'm gonna start with like personal, like I guess underwear is the better way to say this. I have been living in my True & Co bralette pretty much since they gifted me some early last year. Um, I think it was like last spring or something like that. I was kindly sent a couple of their bralettes and then I have since repurchased um, their new like lift version which kind of is meant to be like a wire free bralette but that still gives you like a little bit more support than the other bralettes do and let me just tell you i have been loving these it's all literally all i wear they're very comfortable 
for being pregnant because I just cannot be bothered to wear anything with a wire anymore. I highly recommend those bralettes and then like the other part of underwear that I've really been loving have been like seamless underwear um, or just kind of like made of a very similar material as this, but they're just like little hipsters, little briefs. I have found that anything with like a, a more traditional elastic has like dug into my body and it just does not feel good. I think you can kind of get away, away with it a little bit more when you're not pregnant, but like when I'm pregnant, I just don't, I can't be bothered. So I highly recommend like those laser cut seamless ones. The ones from Target have been really, really great and they're very inexpensive. So if you're looking for some more comfy, Undies. Target is the way to go and True & Co. Ooh, I just love, I just love their, uh, their bras. Then because I've been pregnant in the summer, I have to talk about swimwear. And honestly, I've only been wearing one piece of swimwear the whole summer. The few times that I have gone out to the lake with my family, um, we go boating, so we are very socially distanced, but also when I just like sit in the kiddie pool with my son in our, in our new backyard, um, this is what I've been wearing. It is my airy swimsuit, and this is not a maternity piece at all. This is something that I actually bought last summer when I was nursing, and I wanted to have like easy nursing access because of this like you know, triangle style top. So I really, um, I've been really, really happy and excited that I've been able to wear this throughout my pregnancy. Um, and part of that is because if you look at the back, there's like these little stringies and those strings have allowed me, there's enough room for me to like pull them wide enough where they can still tie, but they allow me the space that I need in order to accommodate a pregnant belly. So really, really stoked about that. Obviously love the color of that. Also really love that the, that airy swimsuit is pretty affordable. And I think they seem to have brought it back a couple of years in a row. So I'll be sure to link that down below for you in case you are interested. Really nice to have something that works from like not pregnant to nurse to pregnant to nursing. Love that. So now let's jump into like true clothing style stuff. I'm gonna start with uh, t-shirts because it's honestly what I've been living in the most. This item is a repeat from last pregnancy and I think actually what I'll do is I'll just insert a photo of me wearing it, but it is a white t-shirt from ASOS and like I said, this is a couple years old at this point. But what I really like about that t-shirt is that it doesn't have that gathering that's like, it seems like every single pregnancy or maternity top has. And I don't know what it is about it, but I I don't like the way it looks. I It just, it bothers me. It's like a weird pet peeve of mine to see that ruching on t-shirts. I just won't buy them. It's one of the reasons that I almost never buy maternity tops because I just don't think that they're flattering. However, I was able to find a t-shirt that is maternity that does not have a ruching. It's very comfortable. It's long enough. It's cute. <laughs> so speaking of not loving maternity t-shirts, I want to share with you a t-shirt that is not maternity, but that has worked very well for me even now at 31, 32 weeks when like the belly is out and it is it needs some length to cover it um like my little my shorter t-shirts just are not working basically this is a just a regular t-shirt from old navy it is the lux it's probably like an everyday crew neck lux tee and the reason that this works i mean particularly on me i'm 5'1 so maybe if you're taller this might not work as well but if you are average height or maybe a little short like i am um, this t-shirt is very long and so usually I tuck in all of my stuff like when I'm not pregnant I am a full t-shirt tucker person But not being able to do that when pregnant means that having a long t-shirt like that it comes in really handy because it is Long enough to cover the bump, but it also is like form-fitting enough that I f I don't I, I don't feel frumpy in it So that's really really nice. Okay, I'm gonna quickly talk about uh, my maternity jeans These are old and they're from Old Navy. They were the perfect straight jean or like the power straight jean and I bought these like two two years ago when I was pregnant and they don't make this exact jean anymore however I do just want to say like for the cost of the maternity jean I am really impressed um, with Old Navy I think the full banded option is the way to go I it gives you that extra support that you need and I really love those jeans 
to the point where like if the weather dips but like below 85 degrees i'm like trying to find a way to wear my jeans because i have desperately missed wearing denim throughout this pregnancy just not having not being able to find good maternity denim shorts and then um like it being so hot i just have really really missed living in denim like i usually do okay the next things that i'll talk about are I guess also from Old Navy. Wow, I did not do that on purpose, but hey, Old Navy, um, you make some good like non-maternity maternity clothes. The thing that I've really loved have been these elastic waist shorts. I have them in this green color, and then I have them in the beige color, and I have them in kind of like a coppery brown color as well. And those, like, let me tell you, these shorts have been my go-to. Uh, especially during our heat waves and stuff like that. I am very much a separates person. And so having shorts that are this like linen blend material have been really, really helpful. I specifically like these ones from Old Navy because they are a mid to low rise. And so they comfortably fit under the bump. I've found that if you get something that is meant to be high rise, it just is not comfortable. It is unflattering because of where you have to place it or you like roll the the top down and then it gets tighter and then it's uncomfortable again. So I really like that these are kind of a lower rise to begin with because it makes them more maternity friendly even though they are not maternity pieces. Definitely have like lived in elastic waist linen blend shorts <laughs> this entire summer, this entire pregnancy. So now I'm gonna cover like dresses and jumpsuits and overalls and stuff like that. One style of dress that I really, really love when I'm pregnant is this kind of like smock style dress. I'm wearing one right now that I just, um, I just picked this up at TJ Maxx the other, the other day. But if you've been around for a while and you were here for my last pregnancy, you will recognize this t-shirt dress. It's this beautiful, beautiful green. But um, I love this one. This is from ASOS. It's from, it's a couple of years old, but I bet you, you could probably find this on Poshmark or something like that. Target had a very similar one earlier in the spring season, but it's sold out. I'm sure it's just, it's not coming back. So I'll try to find something similar and link it in the description below for you. But um, ASOS does a lot of these like smocked dresses. And the reason that I like them is because they have a naturally higher waist style. And so they kind of give you more of an illusion of a waist when you have a pregnant belly. Um, and so I really like them because they are loose and free flowing and comfortable. The only downside to both of these dresses, even though I love, I love them is that they don't have pockets, which I think in 2020, like how do, how do dresses just not have pockets? We have things to carry. I love this green dress. It has served me so well and it served me well in my first pregnancy and it has served me very well in this pregnancy. So it's for sure an essential. Honestly, any kind of dress that makes you feel comfortable is gonna be a pregnancy essential. Um, because there will come a point, like I'm kind of at that point now where even my maternity jeans and like my maternity denim honestly is just not that comfortable. It's feeling tight. It's not feeling like, I just, I don't know. I'm getting, I think I'm just getting to the point in pregnancy where I'm like, I don't want anything touching my belly. I don't want anything tight or hugging me. I just need like to be loose and free. Um, and so I really like the smock dresses for that reason. But I'll also say that I really enjoyed wearing like t-shirt dresses as well. And those are a little bit more form fitting, but I've definitely enjoyed the few like body contrasts that I have. It's just that I'm, I prefer a smock to a body con form fitting dress. Okay, and then the last like clothing item before I talk about shoes, the last clothing item I'll talk about is this jumpsuit. Um, this is the jumpsuit that I just picked up. I just bought this at Target. It's um, from Universal Thread. It's like their Universal Thread brand, the like off-brand Madewell is what I call it. And I'll make sure to insert a photo, but it's this linen overall um, kind of, yeah, it's like a linen overall and I really like it because it doesn't have a ton of structure. I I bought it in a size up, so I bought it in a size small. I would have, because I'm short, I would have almost guaranteed you I would have bought this in an extra small if I wasn't pregnant. But because 
I need a little bit more space and I actually need a little bit more height because I'm pregnant. Um, the small size work has worked really well for me. And um, yeah, I picked that up because I was actually wearing some linen overalls, some white linen overalls that were older. And I'll insert a picture of those over here too. Um, I loved wearing my linen overalls through the spring, even the beginnings of summer when my belly hadn't like fully popped out. What, but once it did, I definitely needed something with a little more room. And I'll be honest, I don't, I don't know how flattering these linen overalls are. Like I said, there's not a ton of shape. They're clearly not maternity, so they're not like really cut in a way that is like gonna hit right above the bump and then hug the bump. Um, I'm sure there are some like maternity linen overalls out there. They're just probably really pricey. And at this point, I don't really feel justified in spending that much money on a piece of clothing that I'm only gonna wear for at most eight more weeks. So I went with a bargain and um, I'm really happy with it so far. It's been very comfortable, it's washed well. And yeah, now quickly I'm gonna talk about footwear. And um, honestly, these shoes, I'm almost embarrassed to show them because they have seen better days. They are the Tom's San Clemente slip-on shoes. Unfortunately, those shoes are sold out and I think they might be discontinued, which is a complete shame uh, or that they're not going to make them anymore. Like Tom's, if you're watching, please bring these shoes back. They are so cute and not only are they cute, but they're probably the most comfortable shoe that I own, period. And I mean, that's helpful when you're a mom or just a busy person, like kind of running around. If you have to be on your feet a lot during the day, like I wore these shoes to Disneyland um, and I wore them all day, both days that we were there. And we're like the kind of people that like walk into the park as it opens and don't leave until it closes. And my feet didn't hurt once, which is, brand new for me. So I can't rave about those shoes enough. I like really, really hope that Tom's brings them back because I absolutely love them. All right, guys, that is everything that I have considered an essential during my pregnancy, whether it's like, you know, lifestyle-y stuff, some skincare, body care. And then of course, like I said earlier, we had to talk about clothes because I feel like dressing yourself during your pregnancy is the biggest challenge of being pregnant and pff, gosh wow that's not true at all <laughs> but it's one of those at least for me it's one of those things that took up a lot of my mental energy not having access to all of my clothes especially my go-to items was kind of difficult. Anyway, that's enough rambling from me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did like this video, would you please give it a thumbs up? And if you liked this video and you want to see more and you are not subscribed, I would really, really love to have you join the fun, join our little community that's growing slowly but surely over here. You can subscribe using the red button down below. And if you want to be notified when I upload videos, um, also click on that little bell to be notified and if you aren't subscribed i just i gotta plug it because we're almost there i'm really trying to get to a thousand subscribers and we are so close so if you are on the fence about subscribing i don't know do me a solid subscribe maybe we can hit a thousand subscribers and that would be really really cool maybe i'll maybe i'll reveal baby girl's name when i hit a thousand subscribers how about that that maybe that's a good push i don't know um, but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Stay healthy, stay safe, stay sane as much as possible, and take care of yourself and each other. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Now that my camera has had to charge for like 10 minutes, hopefully we can get through the rest of this video. I just ate my prenatal. Because I was waiting for Brandon to stop making noise. Come on, I'm thirsty. <laughs>